everybody, Jason from Mice Hunters. We're gonna wind up then taking a look at this house here. So this house has got uh, some problems in the basement and also the kitchen. Um, another company has wound up then doing the treatment portion of it and has then referred us to wind up being able to do the work. So upon going around the outside of the house, you can be able to see where the shingle siding um, going around poses a problem. We wind up being able to keep um, sealant in where we wind up then using more of a, a mesh material. Um, back in, back here, I'll just kind of climb over uh, here and we're going to go through some of the vegetation here. Take a look. Under here where my hand just disappears. There's just no, no stopping it. We also wind up having some weep holes that are here. Now weep holes are supposed to wind up being here to be able to allow the moisture from the back of the brick to be able to weep out. In this case here, we've got a couple that need to wind up being able to be cleaned out and then to wind up being able to be sealed um, so that it winds up allowing the moisture to be able to leave but the mice can't be able to get back in. Um, other issues that we wind up then coming up to is that we have front porches and back porches, side porches, that have a tongue and groove, kind of a deck material over the top of the face. Um, and we have to wind up then going through the lattice, or in this case, we're gonna have to go underneath the lattice in order to be able to get to underneath all of the porches. So, <clears throat> as you can see here, this lattice is very, very well done. It doesn't move, it doesn't come out. And we'd have to wind up then digging underneath to be able to get to it. It's something that we do do. Um, noticed uh, an entry point over here that we're going to that looks like mice and chipmunks have wound up then getting into. So we're going to move this little brick here and show that entry point. So at that point, if I can get my finger into it, they can be able to get into it. So going around the house, you can be able to still see the weep holes that are all along. These weep poles are every fourth brick. So that winds up being a large home and winds up having a lot of weep poles to wind up being able to do. Um, we check out the utilities. So like this dryer vent that's here, make sure that's working. The flap winds up working just fine so we don't have to wind up and worrying about it. Just some of the things that we want to then take a look at. Um, the sandstone is nice to wind up be able to have up on top for the pavers but it also winds up allowing spots for the animals to be able to get in underneath and get over the top of this paver to be able to get packed further into the house. Utilities. Utilities are the harbinger of animals to be able to get in, especially AC units. You can be able to see how the AC units are here. Somebody's taking plumber's putty to be able to put into it. You can be able to see how this is moving. This is how this weep hole is rather large and it's cleaned out through this area here. That would wind up showing that mice have been using this as an activity area to be able to get in and out of the house. Meter boxes as well. Being that this one's been cut into the baseboard here, but also leaves area in back for the animals to be able to then go through. And then somebody's used this area to be able to put a utility line in here as well, be able to hide it or to be able to use the entry point that goes for your meter box into your breaker box to be able to then use that chase way to get through along with the mice. And you probably wind up asking yourself, why does my house have mice? Well, as you can see out here, there's Lake Michigan. You got a very nice house out here. Mice get into every place, not just new construction, old construction, expensive construction or cheap construction. It doesn't make a difference. They like to uh, be able to get into anywhere for the size of your pinky, be able to get into your house, be able to make your house their house. Other issues with the house, uh, ivy growing on the side of the house winds up making it easy for the animals to be able to travel. Um, the ivy itself winds up growing in. You can see the root system here. The ivy grows in underneath this baseboard. To wind up being able to then expose more more areas it also takes out the the moisture out of your mortar your brick the paint 
Um, the only way to be able to get rid of it is to be able to take out the root source, which not a lot of people want to do because it does look good, but it does wind up then giving the animals a place to be able to get into your house. Also, it winds up having some kind of a seed or berry, something for them to be able to eat. While they're traveling, they get a, a bite to eat. Again, pick a point to be able to then dig underneath to be able to get access to the bottom, getting any kind of utilities that are pointing, that are coming out of um, underneath the, the porch here. Be able to make sure that going around the windows, be able to get down into the window wells, be able to make sure that those are sealed as well. Also keeping in mind, if you have any kind of rotted boards, they're gonna be in here. They possibly could have entry points behind here. So this could be soft for mice to be able to get through. There's also some more rot that's down on the bottom of the windowsill that's here. And this is one of the things that we want them looking for while we're inspecting the house to take pictures of, be able to give to the customer. So not only do they know that mice can be able to get in there, but if they're going to want doing any kind of further work to be able to then um, do some maintenance on the outside of the house, prevent the mice from getting back in. With brick to freeze board, we poles, utilities, Stoops, steps, lower windows, ivy to be careful to won't be able to remove, lattice to won't be able to dig underneath. There's a lot of work. This is a big home. Um, as far as this one goes, this is a big house to be able to show you. Normal homes are going to want to be in a single family home, say 2,800 square foot home, 3,500 square foot, square foot home. This one exceeds that. Mice will slip in between the brick and the freeze board to gain access to your home. Chipmunks will chew through siding, allowing the mice access into your home. This vent needs to be replaced as the flap has broken. Mice will then attempt entry. Mice will squeeze behind the freeze board and steps to enter your home. Your utilities are often a mouse fan favorite for entry into your home. Despite extermination best efforts, this home still has mice. Mice love fresh water and bird feed, and of course, the shelter of your home. Vegetation gives mice the ability to move without fear of prey. Utilities run under porches such as this one where no one is normally willing to go. Weep holes often provide just enough space for mice to enter your home. We seal these up with quarter inch wire mesh and OSI caulk. Window wells can become troublesome over time. We'll often see mouse holes in the inside corners. For more mouse proofing tips and tricks, like and subscribe.